As cases of coronavirus surge in more than 30 states now, a model from the University of Washington projects more than 200,000 Americans will die from COVID-19 by November. The model shows that if 95% of the population wears masks, about 45,000 lives could be saved. The model's release comes on the same day the Trump administration notified the UN of its withdrawal from the World Health Organization. The president has accused the WHO of conspiring with China to cover up the origin of COVID-19. Meanwhile, here in Michigan, the state is reporting 456 new cases. That's up significantly from yesterday's number of 295. And today, Michigan also joined several other states in a lawsuit against Education Secretary Betsy DeVos, claiming she wants to divert pandemic relief funds to private schools. CARES Act dollars are designed to provide support to schools in low income areas. But Betsy DeVos and the Trump administration have a different plan. Under their new rule, private schools in affluent districts may receive services that Congress intended for disadvantaged students. This isn't how it should work. This is a virus that has had a disproportionate impact on low income communities and communities of color. Joining Michigan in the lawsuit are our attorneys general from California, Maine, New Mexico and Wisconsin, as well as the District of Columbia. Police in Trenton are trying to track down a woman after a human skull is found in a backyard fire pit there. The home used to be owned by Mark Eberly, who was killed in a shootout with police last month in Tennessee. Last night, the new owners found the skull on the property. Neighbors say there was a large bonfire at that home sometime in March. This makes more sense after you hear this other what happened to a week ago. It's almost like you can tell it's kind of it's kind of